This is Mr. Priscilla, and we're going to do some more graphing with the My Math Lab graphing tools. We have another line that we want to graph, 4x plus 5y equals 20. And My Math Lab is saying, okay, plug a 0 in for x, fill in the blank, plug a 0 for y, and fill in the blank. So putting a 0 in for x, we have 5y equals 20, divide by 5, to get y equals 4. Doing the same thing here, plugging a 0 in for y, we would have 4x equals 20. Divide by 4 to get x equals 5. So let's plug those in. 4, 5, and now we're going to graph another line using this graphing tool. I like to magnify it, and then you're going to click right here, the line tool. If you move your mouse around, hover it, it'll say the name of the tool. Line tool, absolute value tool, so forth. So we're going to graph a line, and it talks you through it. Plot the first point. Over zero, up four, click. Now we've got to plot a second point. Right five, up zero. Notice in the upper right hand corner, the yellow box, it tells you the point. Now we say save before we check our answer. Let's do another one. This one isn't going to be a lie. y equals x squared minus 2. Look at the table we're given. It's telling us to plug these numbers in for x. Well, that's not too bad. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, so we have 4 minus 2, so 2. Plugging a 0 in, pretty easy. 0 minus 2, negative 2. Plugging a 4 in, excuse me, plugging a 2 in. 2 squared minus 2, that's another y equals 4 minus 2. So 2, so I'm going to plug those in now. 2, enter, negative 2, enter, 2, check answer. Now we're going to use a graphing tool. But this time we're not going to use a line. If there's an exponent in the equation, it's not a line. In fact, this one has an x squared. So let's see if we can figure out which tool to use. If we look at the names, there's the line tool, absolute value tool, three-point quadratic tool. Is that it? We have three points and it's a quadratic x squared, so you click there, and you're just going to click the three points. Left two, up two. There's the first point. Over zero, down two. There's the second. Right two, up two. Click the three points. Save it. Check it. Okay. And that was a three point quadratic. Let's do number eight. This one, now can y'all tell those are absolute value bars? Y equals the absolute value of X minus three. With the XY table. Okay, first it says plug a negative 4 in for X. So if we plug a negative 4 in for X. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. And what's the absolute value of negative 7? Well, 
positive 7. Now it says plug a 3 in for x. Plug a 3. Is that hard to see? It's a 3. So if we plug a 3 in for x, 3 minus 3 is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. And... Now 15. Plug a 15 in for x. 15 minus 3 is 12. The absolute value of 12 is 12. I hope this should look like absolute value. It's not uh, 1,121. This is not 101. There. It's absolute value of 0. So 12. Now we're going to graph. So what I'm trying to do here is illustrate this graphing tool. If you hover your mouse along there, you'll see the different names. Line tool, absolute value tool. It can't be much more obvious which tool to use. This one has absolute values. But if you read the instructions, it says Plot the vertex. Well, this is going to be a V-shaped figure. And if you look at the way it is, it's going to show two points. The vertex is the point in the middle. Here, you're not just going to plot boom, 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 all three points. You plot this middle one first. You should have so many students asking questions about this when emailing me saying there's something wrong. No, you're supposed to plot the vertex. That's the middle point first. Okay, you're not going to just plot three points. In fact, you're only going to plot two on this tool. You plot the vertex, right three, up zero. I look in the yellow corner and I see I'm at three zero. And then it says plot another point. You're only going to plot one of these other points. So you're going to have a V-shaped figure. Here are all the different, oops. Here are all the V-shaped figures. Ooh, we I didn't mean that. That's not the point I want. I want to, what's that other? I want negative 4, 7. Negative 4, up 7. Am I at negative 4, 7? Look at the upper right-hand corner. And I am, you see I plotted the vertex and one other point. So hopefully I won't get a million different emails, people asking me what's wrong with number 8. Okay? Because uh, you don't plot all three of the points. The middle point and the one other point. Say so save it. Check it. Now, one more to do. Number nine, let me erase this. Very low tech. So this one's number nine. And this is the last graphing tool we have in this assignment. Y equals x cubed plus six. We have that table. I've got plug in, oops. Plug a negative 1 in, plug a 0 in, plug a 1 in, plug a 2 in for x. So plugging a negative 1 in for x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is times negative 1 is negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus 6. That's a 5. Plugging a 0 in, that's pretty easy. 0 plus 6. Six. Can y'all see that color? Do I need to change colors? Plug a one in. That's pretty easy too. One cubed is one. Plus six is seven. And plug a two in. Two to the third. 
2 times 2 times 2 is 8, plus 6, 14. So let me plug in those numbers. 5, 6, 7, 14. Check the answer. Now we're going to graph it. This is the last one we're doing. It has that graphing tool. And which tool should we use? Well, there's an exponent, x cubed, so it's not a line. There's no absolute values in it, so it's not absolute value. It's not quadratic. Quadratic has x squared, not x to the fourth. I mean, x cubed. Now look at this one, four point cubic t uh, tool. We have four points and there's an x cubed. So on this one you're using the four point cubic tool. You click there and this is one where you just punch in these four points, click on each one of them in that order. Left one at five. Ooh, left one at five. Am I left one at five? Yes, click. Over zero, up six. I'm looking in the upper right hand corner of the yellow box. Right one, up seven. Oh, it's looking like a line, isn't it? Right two, up fourteen. Am I right? No, that's right two, thirteen. Right two, fourteen. Am I right there? Yeah. So. Just plot all four of your points, and you get what's unofficially called a squiggly, and check it. So these are some very nice graphing tools that you'll be working with on this assignment. You should be um, considered yourself very fortunate to be able to use such uh, nice, sophisticated graphing tools, and it's just embedded in my math lab. Now I sound like a Pearson commercial. So I hope you have a good day and work on this homework. This is nice graphing tools. Thank you.